all right guys for kage here and welcome back to the brand new video here we are again on reverse 1999 and on today's video i will answer the most frequent question that you constantly ask me in the comment section below after re-rolling rokage should we keep on summoning should we save what is our next move okay so i will try to give you certain facts and based on those facts, you're gonna conclude for yourself. Because at the end of the day, this is a casual PvE game. And I don't want to command you or tell you what you should do or not do. I will tell you my opinion, my uh, look at it, and then you're gonna conclude your thing. And I will tell you how I will do it. So pretty much you can follow me, you can decide for yourself. We, you can play around you know i believe you cannot make like huge huge mistake that you won't be able to progress for days or something like that i i don't think that's the case okay so first of all let's get rid of this do not summon on this banner like we already talked about this this is a amid uh, the water banner this banner is just pretty much for the reroll if you want to reroll on this banner Although I still recommend that we reroll on this rates up banner. Why is that? Because this banners pity transfer to another banner. So that, that's a huge deal. So in this banner, you have a 70 pity. Okay. Uh, after 70 summons, you get a guaranteed six star. And for example, this banner leaves in certain amount of days so in 11 days 22 hours and 56 minutes the banner will go away and new banner will drop and replace this one pd will transfer so if you reach this to 50 60 pd or here 50 60 pd when the new banner drops like this one the pd will transfer and then you're gonna start from 60 so you can literally manipulate when you're gonna get the six star on the new banner so let me say i can do like six multis here and then when the new banner drops i can do just seven multi and here it is i got us guaranteed six star so that that's what i mean by tr pd transfers about the standard banner the pd won't transfer you have here 70 summons pd that's the same case as the others but it's an vigil pity this one will never transfer to other banners so have that in mind that's why i say after re-rolling do not summon on this banner only summon on those okay now the real question is you're done with the re-rolling you got what you wanted to get is it worth to keep on summoning that's a re really good question i cannot give it like 100 percent answer on this but i will tell you my take my opinion as long as you can progress as long as you created the right team who has the dps damage dealer healing and the character that will give you survivability debuffs buffs you know the drill we already talked about the team composition don't summon if you're doing fine if you don't want to flex if you're pretty satisfied with your progress just don't summon it is not worth it let's wait for the new banners we got what we wanted from this let's wait for the new banners let's see what everything new will drop so as a free to play you are ready to go when something new drops right or or you don't want to bother who is next i know that limited characters are gonna drop like if i'm not mistaken so maybe we should all save for those new limited characters right that's my take i'm not summoning anymore i'm progressing just fine i need to work on my reson uh, resonate i need to work on my psycho cubes and like all of these things will definitely make my character even better duplicates in this game are not so busted that you're gonna be like five stars needs more duplicates but six stars low key they're fine in most occasions when you build up right psycho cubes and right uh, resonant and many more things that are connected with the character so pretty much long story short my answer is when you found the right composition, when you're done re-rolling, don't summon. Let's see what next will drop. Have in mind, the pity again will transfer. So you re-rolled on this banner. Let me say you did like two, three, four multis, something. I mean, one, two multis. Let me say three over time because I did a little bit more multis than maybe I should have. But I don't care. I wanted to get furthermore and see what I can get, how lucky I can get. 
uh, etc. So the pity will transfer for the next banner. I'm fine with it. I got what I got from this. Now let's wait for the new banner and see what everything new is gonna drop and definitely like this i will have higher chance to pull a six star on the next banner hopefully featured one so yeah this 11 days will be here now i'm not sure tell me from the cn and everything else when the new banner is gonna drop will it be like a separate pity from this too it's like a new limited banner that has its own pity that's like the real question but like this banner with the rates up definitely they're gonna share pity between transfer the pity so you're good so in my eyes after you created the right team you rerolled and you're satisfied and you're progressing work on the side cubes work on the resonant for the character work on your insights level up you know duplicates are extreme are helpful but if you work on another thing and you have the right team, you just don't need to summon anymore. You, you just don't have to summon, bro. You're going to be able to progress if you have the right strategy. You are going to be fine. The other thing that you could do is like you don't care. You want to reach the pity. You want to get more six stars. So you go for it. I cannot forbid you to do it. But my advice is just like keep on that summon currency. If you're doing fine, just keep that summon currency. Don't go too crazy because easily, guys, you could get shafted until the pity. Until the pity, you could get shafted. And imagine some new broken character drops and you're not ready as a free to play. Huh, you will be in a disadvantage in a way, right? So that is my take. Definitely for now, I would not summon after re-rolling maybe do one two three multis for fun to see how lucky you can get if you're not completely luck uh, happy with the re-roll but for now as long as you can progress you are fine bro but just please do not summon here you're gonna waste the pity you're gonna waste a lot of summons the pity won't transfer to the other banners and then th this would be like the one of the biggest mistakes that you could do one of you sent me a comment that you got the eternity from the six star st uh, beginner banner and then you went all in here and you got like four five shafts in a row yeah i told him bro okay maybe you got eternity if you if that if she can carry you 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 potentially could be fine but i believe at the end of the day maybe you can now since you've done so many multis maybe you should just reach the pity and see who who's gonna get who, who you're gonna get as a six star and if you're not satisfied just start all over again this could be potentially one of the biggest mistakes that you can do in the game but it's not end of the world okay but i'm telling you, you're really risking it with summoning a lot and get shafted you're gonna waste a lot of things okay guys hopefully the, the, you did enjoy the video hopefully it was helpful leave a like subscribe your opinions in the comment section below and that's it there is like two ways do you want to go all in right now that i don't recommend but then again if you get lucky you could potentially progress faster than everyone else but long term speaking it is better to keep your summon currency safe in the bank in the safe <laughs> and that's it okay guys love ya and see you next one bye